Today, we've found the most shocking videos of Karens and Kevins on the internet, so strap yourselves in and let's dive in. This Karen doesn't believe in mistakes, as this poor guy is about to find out. Listen, this is when my I, time! I booked this time! Listen. Please just go! Please, this listen. Is, you're not entitled to Stop my time right now! I'm not in the park. This is my time! This is a public this area. Is, no, it is This right here is public. This is not. That's private. So I, when I read this sign... Please, I so listen, you don't get the L at me. You don't get the L at me. You just don't get the L at me. I read the sign and you started yelling at me. So I said, what are you doing? And you came over here and I'm listening to you and I'm asking you questions. Then you start yelling at me again. Just because I couldn't hear you got mad at me. So I did get my dogs in the car because you're freaking out. Now get out of my face and go to your thing. Go to your thing, man. Go to your thing. I don't need you to watch me leave. Suck a f You can go in the park. And do your thing. Um, I'm done with you. You can go. Um, I have a kid here. You can go. Just go. Leave us alone. We read the sign. We get it. We weren't trying to offend you or hurt your feelings. I Listen, I read the sign and I get it. I'm going to leave now, but I need you to get into my space because you're bugging me. You're, you're making me feel threatened. You're making me feel threatened. Just leave me. Go with your dogs, lady. I'm done. You were mean to me. And I told you to stop, and now I'm leaving. <laughs> That's no, you yelled at me. Exactly. <laughs> it's not asking. So now you can go. We're good. <laughs> go ahead. Train your dogs. I'm leaving. Go. What do you want from me? Um, <laughs> calmly. There's a gate at the front. Yeah. And there's all these rules. Suck a f So I. I got a big. <laughs> very respect, like <laughs> dogs that rush the gate. These dogs didn't they didn't rush the gate. I have my dogs. My didn't dogs the did. Yes, they did. Please don't interrupt me. When I talk calmly, you interrupt. Oh, I'm sorry. that's my problem. Shut the f so these dogs would fight with a new dog. Yeah. So I booked this time. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I booked this time so strangers Ding -dong. won't um be entitled oh. to my time. Okay. I paid so for this. I read so the sign. Please apologize for the misunderstanding. Listen here, listen. You're, you're kind of crazy. <laughs> I read the sign. There are rules. <laughs> listen, so you're are acting crazy. Acting crazy. You're acting crazy. Let's, let's, let's have a rational conversation. Ma'am, look. Look behind you at that sign. I read the sign and I was leaving, right? <laughs> then you came over from way over there by the water I don't need to and you walked it. over here yelling at me. I don't need you to explain it to me. <laughs> you walked over yelling the, at me. So I just said, I what? This time. <laughs> this is my time. My right, money. I gotta go. I gotta go. Please do. This is my time. Karen here doesn't seem to realize that delivery drivers have a job too, but watch how she tries to stop them. I call 911. Why you okay. park here? Why? We do delivery here. I don't care. The lady, the manager let us. Uh, I'm, my, I pay for the pay. Okay, me too. For what? For the truck. I don't care about the Manager you. said to wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. You crazy. You're crazy. You cray cray. Girl, you cray cray, girl. Who's your car? You, thre you threw my stuff. Excuse me. You threatened if me. If you will not uh, take my picture, I will No, I'm you. calling. I'm I will calling. you in your company. Road rage does terrible things to people, but the way it makes this Karen act is next level. Hey, cool. Yeah, and you threw stuff out my car. You're acting like a You literally brake checked me, tried an accident. You have a one year old in a car, but you're trying to cause an accident. You tried causing an accident. I have everything on video too. Yeah, congrats. Congrats. Yeah, go you tried go ramming go into me. You tried ramming into me. Yeah, you tried ramming into me, cutting me off, brake checking me. You, you tried it. You. you threw at stuff out my car too. I did not do sh yeah, you threw it out my car. I got it all on video. Keep on, keep, on we'll on keep on lying. We'll take it to the police. We'll take it to the police. Keep on lying. Yeah. Keep on lying. We'll take it to the police. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Watch how this entitled Kevin tries to get a refund on food he's already eaten. How can you be this entitled? It's very good steak. You should eat it. So what's the customer service? So if uh, your steak is bad, you still charge the customers? God bless you and your friend. Right. You're going to be on YouTube today. That's Mega okay. Diner. I, I made it on TV a lot of times, okay? Yep. 
Uh, everybody that so the customer service is if she's the state is bad knows that I am a so what's righteous the policy? Okay. what's the policy I if the steak is bad what's the policy of Omega Diner yeah, it's your policy not my policy no no so if the steak is bad you still charge the customers right that's a policy the, the policy is that when the steak is good we charge them if the steak is bad we don't charge them so who decides the steak is bad the customer or the paying customer or the owner uh, the customer, or the manager the customer might say anything oh, really? okay. but uh, the uh the cook okay. the manager dimitri so if the meat is bad says it's good so not the paying customer decide but the manager no, no, of the place no, no, decide no, no. if the meat is good the, the paying customer ate more than half of it not more than half of it uh, took a I, bite I of it, right it. Here. Bring yeah, took a bite of it. Like, yeah, yeah, let's make a video of that too. Okay. Yeah, the steak is perfectly good. It's yeah, the this most is tastiest the tastiest steak you ever half see. Of the That's right. It's more than steak. half. Yep. An ounce, 14 ounce steak. Okay. So the okay. great customer served And you ate the diner. salad and you ate the soup. Yep. Uh, and this, you ate the bread. This manager you, is uh, waiting guys, for you. You have a great day. And we're you're going to have a wonderful here. time at Omega you Diner. Come, you come back over here, okay? When you get takeout pizza, you're usually excited, but not this Karen. She's not happy at all. Yeah, where's my sh Now make them all alone. Right. Kevin's like to get up into everyone's business, and this one is no exception. You won't believe his reason for telling this kid off. I don't know sh okay, I'll tell you what. You don't know sh There was a guy. What was it? Huh? What was it? I don't know what is the situation. He was in here, okay? I come up and I said, hey dude, what are you doing here? This is my house. He's like, uh, no, the, the owner said I could stay here. I've got a lease, blah, blah, blah. Well, he's lying through his teeth. He tells me this. I said, no, no, this ain't gonna work. I said, you gotta get the hell out right now. He's like, no, I've been living here. This is my place, blah, blah, blah. I said, I'll tell you what, you be chill. I'm gonna call the 5 and then they'll bring you out. So he goes and waits. I said, fine. I'll wait about half an hour. Cops come up. They bring him out. And they're asking me. And they're like, okay, show us the lease. Blah, blah, blah. Somehow this crazy neighbor Kevin tries to accuse his poor neighbor of stealing his stuff. How could you live next to that? Go back up to your house where you belong. You get that off. I'm going to do it for you. You won't step foot on this property or else I'll beat your ass. Get the f off our property. What did I steal? You stole my the wire off of the trees over here. What the hell are you even talking about? What wire? Chicken wire, you ass. I don't even know what you're talking about. You're the dumb. I know what I'm talking about. No, you don't, because I haven't You been stole there. the wire. Ain't nobody off. been on your f***ing property. God damn, I know which one it is. You shot on my birdhouse over here too. Birdhouse. Oh, we shot a birdhouse. What? We shot a birdhouse? Yeah, you did. You you guys are you but guys are coming you up with some pretty good here You trespassed on my I property and you even, even picked like up the pieces. See you at all. And I ain't been on your property and neither is my kid. How can Kevin be so rude to his neighbors when he is the one requesting they change something on their land? Okay. You were told to put in a goddamn sewer line out to the front of the property. I called. You called. I just talked to them. I called the city. Yeah, the county. I called the county. I wanted to put a sewer light. Oh, I went, what's this? What's no, no, this? No. This is against the law. This is a, a violation of code. Look, you can't do that. Look, oh, Jesus my, Christ. I, I, you gotta yeah. be kidding me. Call, what call. kind of a thinks they can pull some of that bullshit? I don't service. give a who it is. Now, I don't know what your problem is, but you need I am prob My problem is, is you cannot put in an illegal drain field. Listen, it's against the law. What I'm a doing is not illegal. Yes, it is. I don't see a hanging permit. I don't, I don't know what your problem is. Where is the hanging permit? A hanging permit? Where's well, the permit out front? You don't have look, a permit. Kevin here doesn't like the fact that this park ranger has authority over him, and he'll do anything he can do to undermine him.
Even though mask mandates have been around for such a long time, this Kevin just refuses to wear one, and you won't believe what he says when he won't. Establishment. I have a right to be here. You don't. Yes, I do. There's signs all over the place. You do not. That is not a law. That is not a law. Step away. Back the f up from me. Why are you supposed to? Get rid of the evil removed. Why are you supposed to leave the store now? Why? What are you gonna do? Why? Why? This is all for you people. Out. Now. What? You do no longer belong here. What? You do not belong in this store. What do you mean? Why? Step away from me. Step away from me. It's a regulation. This is a public establishment. I am a customer. You're privately owned? Really? So, uh, so, okay, suck a f suck a f Merry Christmas, man. I'm out. Merry f Christmas, everyone. Watch how this Karen tries to get all up in her younger neighbor's business. Why would you interact with a stranger like that? What would you do? I don't know who you're walking up on right now. I ain't walking up on I'm standing right here. You pay your taxes? Harmony. Yes, I sure do pay my tax. Harmony! Can I help you? No, we can just stay here all day, yo. Um, how about you go back to your car with your husband and uh, go ahead about your husband. business? It ain't my car. Now, who's okay. business you in? This is my house. This who is my dog. You, you said something to me the first. Dog, I saw you kicking. And like I said, I went like this to her face nice. so that she doesn't go ahead Let and go to that man walking face. in the middle of the alleyway. Oh, I want you to, matter of fact. I want you to, matter of fact. I want you to, matter of fact. This Karen deserves the worst customer service ever. How can she treat someone who's only trying to do their job like that? This Karen believes she has a constitutional right to be racist. You won't believe why. And, and I told you, I said I apologize, ma'am. I was just coming in for a second. I was leaving. I got no, you've been here longer than a second. It, it took more than a second to go over to the office and file a complaint against it and have a, your car. Hey, but I was talking to you real respectful and everything. No, you're not. And, you're still stealing from me. And you called me a n So, I've got a constitutional right to freedom of speech. I'm an American and proud of it. I don't have to leave America to go to Africa. Like you guys have to leave Africa to come to America. Nah, you all took us from Africa and brought us over here. No. But that's neither here nor there. I mean, this is not your country either. You have no culture. What, what yes, is your culture? This is America. Hot dogs? America. I'm proud to be an American. Man, can you just like move your car? You're backing me in. If you move your car, Always till the then I can move my car. 
and I can get out of here. Your people. Are you fighting with me? I'm asking you. No, exactly. don't fight with me because you know who my people are. Well, uh, and they, they, didn't take, they didn't take your space. I she know. said that I came over here to have sex with you. Karen here seems to believe that because she hates traffic in her road, she has the right to be racist. And you won't believe what she says. Go back to your country. We don't want all your cars here in America. We don't want you. What did we do to you? We didn't do nothing to you. We you nothing. park all those cars and you race it. Do you see any car right here on your no. side? Do you see them? No. Just stop being so That's not being nice. You look you, like you're not you. black. You're not. You're right. Yeah. You don't even know. Exactly. I just hate all those people at the border that walked here from Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You need to go back to your. Country. Thank you so much. America doesn't want you. Thank you so what much. You about that? America doesn't want you. you. What about that? You're the only one. America who's getting doesn't here. want you. You're the only one who's getting mad right here. And you ain't gonna be calling my mom like that. You ain't gonna be talking to her like that. I'm her daughter. You ain't gonna be talking to her like that. I'm telling you. This Karen doesn't seem to understand that shops have a right to refuse service, especially if you won't wear a mask. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Thank you. Yeah. Don't, don't listen to them because they don't know the law and you would be personally, you're personally liable. Okay, so we're at this check stand. What is your name? What is your name? Amber, are you the manager here at Grocery Outlet? Amber, are you the manager? Okay, so... All right, so they... They're closing the check stand, so you're not going to cash me out, right? You're not supposed to because it's not okay. mandatory that you have to wear it. It isn't man. It's not a law, and I have the right to commerce uh, under Oregon statute. So I'm giving you three dollars and seventy-five cents, which covers the two items that I have. I think this Karen needs to go to her ophthalmologist because you can see from space that she is over the line. All right, yeah, and I'm gonna take pictures of this, and I have. I'm sorry, you're not over the line. You're not over the line. You're not over the line, right? You're not over the line. This isn't over the line. Yeah, see that? It's over the line. No, it's It is over the line. It's right the line. Ma'am, the front of the car is supposed to stop at the line, so instances like this doesn't happen. Excuse me? <laughs> when did I become? It's not law. It's not law. It's common like sense. It's common sense. I would like to see the camera where you were. Yeah? Yeah. You want you want proof that I've been there since 1.30? Well, I've been here since 12. You have not. Yes, I have. Ma'am, you hit my car. No, I did not. Watch how Karen seems to believe that she has the right to lecture another person. But you need to hear her reason why. It's insane lifted the mask mandate so uh i just wanted to tell you before someone else tells you that the way you're walking around with it on like with no one even near you it kind of makes you look like you think you're like better than everyone else this nail tech has the courage to stand up to a karen that every person with a public facing job wished they had dear god in heaven what you just did I don't want you to do your nail anymore. Oh my God! Nail. What he just did? I cut your nail. I don't want you to do your nail anymore. I'm ex trying to express something to him. No. What is wrong with him? But I mean, I, this I, is I, unacceptable. And the time he made pay me, and then do the last time work, I came in, he said, "No, you are not going to overpower me. No, don't disrespect okay. me. Can you leave here? I don't want you to do your Don't nail. disrespect me. Okay. The last time I came in here. You know, because I come in, you know I come in to get my nails done. And he said, just remember, next time it's going to cost you $50. Because we're going to do a new set. Mm -hmm. So I put, I, just, I, I, I put $50. Hold on, hold on. I did. I put $50 plus his tip. 
And no curse. Because I told you I couldn't afford it? Yeah. Seventy dollars? I can't afford it. Who's seven dollars? You said I'm gonna have to charge you another five no? for the length. Yes. I said we're cutting them short. And you said, Well it's still long. I'm charging another five dollars. The length you need to pay me. I can look at the long list, but no pay. Because the manual store everything. So that's why whenever you come, we always show you a manual. It's okay. $50 for the new set. And see yes. what the removed old one and no. long length. I've been in San Antonio for 17 her. years. I've been in San Antonio for 17 years here. Because never, I never this. Never. Every salon, different price. <laughs> And now go with the same the bride. I don't want to be upset. I don't want to be upset. It's just, this is acceptable. No, 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 I'm taking pictures, and it will go to the Better Business Bureau. What do I owe you for what? No, 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 you don't need to pay. No, I'm going to pay you for tipping the nails off. No, for free, for free, go, go. You don't need to pay me, it's okay, I need for you. It's okay. I have never, ever been disrespected like this, ever. Not ever. Anytime you're here, you pay me.